I'm Peter with the F5 security team. Over 80% of web pages are being delivered over SSL and TLS, and attackers are hiding their malicious payloads within those encrypted streams. So stick around while we light up how F5 can help with SSL visibility. Imagine it's your birthday and an envelope comes in the mail. There's the source and destination address, but you don't recognize who it's from. Now, you're hoping there's a birthday card and something good inside, but until you open that envelope and look inside, you don't know if you're getting a $20 bill or a ransom note. And that's kind of the point here with SSL visibility. Until you look inside those packets, you don't know if it's legitimate traffic or malware. And so here we got, you got your people on one side, you got internet and applications on the other side, and then in here is your security devices and the inspection zone, if you will. So for instance, say this individual has a piece of malware. They're on the local area network, and it could be an individual device. It could be a server. Now, this, this particular piece of malware is calling back to the command and control center or server over SSL or TLS, and so it's going outbound. And when it goes outbound to this command and control server, F5 Labs Threat Research actually found that 68% of these command and control servers are utilizing server certificates. And so that's an encrypted stream, an encrypted connection to the command and control center. So as it goes outbound, it hits this inspection zone. Now, hopefully, all of these devices can handle certificates and they can handle throughput, but that's not always the case. What happens is as the traffic in uh, both legitimate and potentially bad traffic starts to build up and primarily or due to perfect forward secrecy with TLS, you got to have to set up your inspection zone kind of like a daisy chain of inspection devices. And so it hits this first device and you got to decrypt, inspect, re-encrypt, and then the next device, decrypt, inspect, re-encrypt. So each device has to worry about the decryption and the additional throughput and on top of inspecting the traffic. And so things like latency can occur. Just the management of these devices can become a headache. Many of them might not have the capability or features to have a uh, certificate and key handle PKI on those devices. So what can you do? So let's clean this part up a little bit. So we're not looking to replace any of these devices. What you do instead is you put in a F5 SSL orchestrator. SSL orchestrator is a standalone security device, it's software you can load on a virtual server, or it's a module that you can uh, add to your big IP. And instead of having all the decryption and certificates and keys on these devices, what you do is you put the certificate and the key on SSL Orchestrator, and you handle all the bulk encryption right here. And so you don't have to worry about. In fact, the Government Accountability Office and the Congressional Report talking about the Equifax breach, one of the things it noted is that the certificate on one of their security devices had expired. And because that device was not decrypting the traffic, that's one of the reasons how the malicious payloads got back and forth is that it wasn't decrypting, it was just passing the traffic through. So you're in your inspection zone, you might have RSA NetWitness, a Palo Alto Next Gen Firewall, FireEye NX, Semantic DLP, Cisco Firepower. So we're really looking to enhance and optimize and scale 
your infrastructure, your infrastructure, your inspection zone. So now this time on the way out, the traffic gets decrypted at SSL Orchestrator and then in clear text, so decrypted, it sends that traffic to each of the devices. Now, the cool thing about this is that you don't necessarily now need to go one after the other after the other. If you send it to based on the policy that you set up, so policy-based traffic steering, you might send it to your Palo Alto Next Gen Firewall or your FireEye NX, and based on that, it cleans up whatever it needs to clean up. It gets re-encrypted and goes out on its merry way. And so there's a lot of control that you have around the policies and which devices get what. So, you know, you can send them to two, send them to three, send them to all, just send them to one. And it also helps you scale this area here in terms of adding and removing services. And so say you want to have high availability over here and have another Cisco device. So it can monitor and know the health of those organizations of those organizations of that um, of that device. If you want to add a new service, say you want to put something in, you can add and remove services easily without disrupting the traffic flow because these are just pools off the big IP. It's a VIP, and then you can do layer three, layer two, ICAP, HTTP. Um, to a pool and then back up again. Um, and this is so on the way out, of course, then you can also do it, say these are your applications on the way in. And so this would be your visitor this time around and they may be doing something bad, trying or at least attempting to do something bad, coming in, decrypt the traffic. Now your inspection zone would look quite different in this, in the inbound case, you probably have other types of DLPs or even a WAF, a web application firewall hand checking layer seven, HTTP and HTTPS traffic. So you centralized your bulk encryption, you intelligently manage your inspection zone, you optimize all the devices within your security infrastructure. And on top of it, you're getting the SSL visibility to inspect all of the traffic going in or out of your organization to ensure that it's not some of that malware or nasty stuff going through your system. Pretty cool stuff. Um, on Big IP, by the way, so we have uh, deploy not only have deployment guides, but on Big IP, you can just select your particular provider along with the type of topology that you like. And then the, the step through process, a wizard will help you then set it up and get them all installed. So if you'd like to learn more about SSL Orchestrator or any of F5 security products, you visit f5.com forward slash security. I am Peter. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.